welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a login system in your blogger website on your complete blogger website not on any single post this login system is implemented not by using any kind of iframe even it's implemented directly modification in your theme file so how it will work i will show you so right now this is not login and let's take example you have any post or any page in your blogger and if you open that particular page it will first check that you are logged or not until you are not logged it will not access you to use your blogger website so in today's video without wasting your time i am going to show you how it will work so we use the Google Sheet as a database. In our Google Sheet, we can store the username and the password. Right now, I have a demo user accounts here. So let me show you an example. So you can see here, this is my uh, username and password and type is a low. You can also block them. Okay, I will also show you. Uh, if I am going to make it the block and click on this login. So when I click on this login, so as of now you can able to see here it will process and check either the access is allowed or blocked so right now my account is blocked i cannot able to use this blogger or i cannot able to done my login procedure so let me make it uh, allow section and click on this allow okay now i just click on this login so as of now you can able to see here it will process and login and it will check either my access is guaranteed or no now you can easily able to see any kind of page in your blogger without any puzzle okay so you can also change the theme of the system default and the theme color what you want you can easily do dark color it's up to you okay so this is the modification and either if you have any kind of page in your blogger so you can easily uh, you cannot able to access easily to them you can see here this is a page and if i click on this view right now it will give me access why because i am logged as a account okay i just click on this open and uh, open a guest profile and enter this page again right now here it will not allow me to do anything else until i am logging okay so this is a feature which we have implemented in this particular setup and let's take example if you don't have if a person don't have any account they can simply click on this sign up they can enter for example let's take example i have uh, this particular email id already exists i just copy this email and uh, click on this sign up and paste it here and now i enter the password demo password here so you can see here i enter the password and click on this create account so when i click on this create account right now it will give me the error the email is already registered so you cannot able to register by using this email or this username okay so you can change it slightly and click on this create account so in this way you can easily able to account create in your database or in your blogger website so you can see here by default it will allow how you can it by default it will access this block i will also show you in uh, coming few moments okay now the feature one feature you have checking that uh, you are successfully created a account now what happened if you need to a uh, forget password so you just need to enter your so you just need to enter the email id here okay and uh, now you can simply click on this send reset code okay so it will check either you have that email id in our database or not otp sent to your email id successfully done and right now from here the otp comes and i will just copy this particular otp and uh, just come here and paste it here and click on this verify call so when i click on this verify code as of now you can able to see here it will successfully verified and now it will allow me to create a new password for creating a new password i will use 223344 okay 
again 22344 and click on this update password so in our database so you can able to see here that particular uh, password is created out successfully okay so this is a system which we have implemented in our blogger dashboard in our blogger website so same thing you can easily add the post and you can secure them your whole blogger so now let's uh, the talk let's talk about how you can set up this that's the major thing in this video okay so first of all you can able to see here these files i will deliver to you so they has a code.js you can simply copy this code okay and go to your google sheet open your google sheet and when you open your uh, google sheet you can simply go to your extensions and click on this app script so when you click on this app script as of now you can able to see here a app script editor is available in front of you you can simply paste our new code here i have added the uh, comment section so you can easily check out that where you need to change this okay so you can see here this is a sheet one and if your sheet name is different you can easily for example login and you can simply use uh, copy this particular login name and just come to here and replace with them and click on this save so when you click on this save it's all done all set up now you just need to click on this new deployment and when you click on this new deployment you can simply select here anyone and click on this deploy so when you click on this deploy it will give you a web app url you can simply copy this web app url it's done okay now i will show you with a new demo like new blog if you are going to create how to connect login with sheet okay i just copy this and click on this next and again paste it here so that particular is available and click on this say now all set so you can able to see here it will be created in a few moments so now the blog is going to be created successfully i just simply click on this view blog so right now you can able to see here it will view look like that okay now you just simply go to your theme sections and when you go to your theme uh, in the customize click on this edit html so when you click on this edit html right now from here go to the blogger.xml you can simply copy this all the code and come here and paste it here okay now all done now here's again the thing you can simply go to manage deployment if you already have your uh, url which you we have already copied you can use them and simply come to here and search control f and you can just simply enter the script okay so script okay dot okay that's uh, script dot you can find here the script dot yeah here's so you can easily uh, replace your url with that particular uh, url okay web app url just go uh, paste it here or replace here and click on this save so you can remember this it will be the line number 5936 in line number 5936 you need to update the web app url or also uh, one more thing and if you wanna uh, uh, if you are going to log in it will automatically log out in one hour and if you want to extend the time at two, for two hours you can simply make it two so right now it will be going to two hours so two hours user can use your blogger easily and they cannot be able to log out after two hours it will automatically log out you can simply click on this press button and when you click on this press it will processing and save your code here and when your code is going to be saved successfully so now when you are going to refresh your web application so as of now you can able to see here it will check and uh, you are not logged in right now so it will ask you for the login so i just copy this particular email id uh, username and again the password from here and paste it here and click on this login so it will be make me login in my blogger website so this will be very helpful for protect your content uh, content in your blogger and it will really helpful for the bloggers who are regularly working on the blog sport and want to protect their whole content this video is only for the educational purposes so thank you very much hope you like this video you like this concept and if you want to make more videos like that subscribe our channel thank you very much